Good morning. Welcome to First Church. Uh, I'm afraid I got some bad news this morning. Groundhog saw a shadow. <laughs> Six more weeks of winter. Oh well, this is New England. I'd like to welcome the Boy Scouts here this morning. This is Boy Scout Sunday. And uh, it's good to see all the Scouts here. And um, if you're visiting us today, we'd like to have you fill out and you want to know more about us, you can fill out these little brown envelopes, I mean uh, brown tan, I guess manila cards, put it in the offertory or give it to one of the deacons or the pastor. We also have the brown envelopes for the Good Samaritan Fund, and uh, we'd like to have if you can, give us a little donation to that to help the needy in the community and in the church. It's used for fuel, prescription drugs, um, rent, so on and so forth. So if you're going to do just a couple dollars would help out. Also, we have this little envelope here. It's in the pew. And it says, Fuel the Lord's Builders. This is to help those missionaries, missionaries, I guess we call them, from our church that are going to Alabama to help restore that church down there. So if you could just put a couple dollars in here or if you feel more generous, we'd really appreciate that. And uh, Tom Rashawn, you have an announcement. I do, and it's regarding the Papa Gino's community fundraiser that's in the bulletin. I know we're asking for a lot of funds to help us along on this mission, but this one you can get to enjoy a good meal as well. It's this Thursday night, February 6th, at Papa Gino's on Route 20, over by the old Fair Shopping Plaza. Uh, you do need to bring this flyer with you, but if you bring your family and come out to dinner, 20% of whatever you spend will be donated to the Lord's Builders. So you can come out, have some good food, enjoy some time with your family, and help us uh, with some funds to help us get down to Alabama. Again, you do need to bring the flyer with you. And thank you all for all your support. Okay. Jen Elwell. Um, we're kind of riding the coattails of that as well. As a church for the general fund, the Stewardship Committee is throwing a fundraiser at Pizzeria Uno in Millbury on the 18th, which is school vacation week. So a couple weeks beyond. Um, and it's good all day. So if you want to take the kids to lunch and go see a movie, it's not just dinner hours, it's good for takeout. Um, we will be putting the flyers in the bulletin over the next two weeks. Um, so once again, not to kind of coincide with the Lord Builders. Um, any questions, let us know. And this is for the Church General Fund um, to support the church. Thanks. Victoria has also asked me to ask for help from volunteers to help with her with her Valentine's dinner for the seniors which would be on February 15th. The volunteers she needs in the kitchen, 55 and under, or fi under 55, okay? The, the dinner is for 55 and up. So if you're 55 and up and want to come to a nice dinner on the 15th, you're all welcome to come. Oh, yes. Uh, She'd like to have you call the office so they can get an idea of how many people are coming and put in a reservation. And last week, we mentioned about the food pantry. And I'd like to just clarify something on that. I had a talk with Michelle and she gave me this thing. She says, on the average, we have a total of 193 households in Sutton who use the food pantry. And she wanted to emphasize that not any senior citizens use the food pantry. So, 163 families, average family size four people, 30 individuals. 
163 families times the average size four plus 30 individuals equals 682 people that we serve. No one, not everyone uses the pantry each month. These numbers fluctuate during the year. We rely solely on donations. Food drives are the best way for the community to get involved. Monetary donations are welcome. However, food items are preferred. All families and individuals are followed by several town departments. This helps to alleviate the misuse. To make a monetary donation to the Sutton Food Pantry, please make checks payable to Town of Sutton. And in the memo section, please write Food Pantry. You can also go on their, their site, there's www.suttonmass.org, is the best way to find out the items they need. I had one other. And then she goes on to say, we at the Sutton Food Pantry are here to help assist you in making ends meet. Many of the families and individuals that use the Sutton Food Pantry are having a difficult time providing food and paying bills. Many foods, uh, many folks may not qualify for food stamps. However, if you would like a food stamp application, they'll be happy to provide one for you. The rules are simple. You must be a resident of the town of Sutton. You must provide us with a current electric bill in order to verify your address. We will provide you with a list of items that we normally stock. We all ask that you check off the items that you need. Our request for food is limited to once a month. We rely solely on donations, as I said before. The Sutton Board of Health will follow up with you after you sign up. Thank you for your cooperation, Michelle Edelstein. Also, I have Andy's famous sign-up sheet. It's for the upcoming supper on Saturday. And now if I may, what I'd like to call Dr. Lee Gritton forward, the Cub Master, and also Victoria. Please come forward. Hi everyone, thank you very much. Okay. We are the PAC 243, you guys support us every year. You've been supporting us apparently for 19 years it seems, according to this here, which is fantastic. Um, we have five scouts here with us. We have 53 or 54 uh, scouts in the PAC. Okay, so we have about, uh, well, 40 some odd families because we have some families have multiple children. We have a lot of leaders. We even have some more leaders uh, that help us out here. If you guys want to stand up, please. They don't want to come up, only one of them, to, <laughs> more shy than, than, than others. But uh, this here, this is the charter granted to First Congregational Church uh, to carry on the scouting programs for character development, citizenship training, mental and physical fitness uh, through December 31st of 2014. Thank you very much. Present this to you and give you the Cub Scout handshake, which is two fingers. There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much for all your support. All right, guys. Good job. Okay, now if you're able, please stand and we'll greet one another. 